Hello and welcome everyone to another one of our walkthrough videos. Today we have this uh, 2006 Suzuki Swift in this nice looking grey colour. As we can see the headlights are in good condition for this age. For the tyres, 18560R15s in Yokohama tyres. Now it's wrapped around factory alloy wheels with good condition. One thing to mention this is a 1.3 litre model, not the normal 1.2. Body is nice and straight, no dents, no major scratches. Coming down to the door card here, very clean. Uh, for the top we've got hard plastic interior, black piano trim, and a bit of cloth padding for your arm to rest on. Again this is the 5 speed manual model. So it's got a also got a nice uh, dark blue black cloth interior. Got your rain guards, left rear door looking nice and straight. Again no major scratches or dents. One thing to mention, this is also pit free and smoke free and non-accident vehicle. Like all hatchbacks, the rear seats do fold down. This is a 60-40 split with angle points at the back. Obviously, the uh, we, we also have the uh, anchor points just underneath here, similar to a um, isofix. Rear bumper looking good. One thing to mention is that it does come with a toner cover for your privacy, which is excellent. And it's got spare wheel underneath here. One thing I forgot to mention is the rear tires are also Yokohama, um, has 7mm of tread on it. The roof looking good, no color fades, stains, ch paint chips, anything like that. As I mentioned, Yokohama tires for the back as well, which has about 7 millimeters. Now sitting inside the vehicle, I'm 5 foot 8, got plenty of leg room, excellent for short trips, ceiling nice and clean, smoke free as well as I mentioned earlier, and also got extra hooks for your uh, bags and whatnot if you like to do some shopping, or your handbags. The middle uh, transmission tunnel is nearly flat. However, sitting in the, in the middle, I wouldn't recommend it for super long trips again. Being a such a small hatchback might be a bit uncomfortable for long trips. So long trips, I only recommend two plus twos. I wouldn't recommend a whole uh, a whole a whole car of people. Obviously, having a small engine as well that wouldn't help with lots of luggage. Obviously, this sort of car is only for mostly in towns. Got one factory uh, key here with remote locking. All four windows are electric and also have electric mirrors. To start the car, we have this five speed manual gear knob here from factory. And just start the car with foot on the brake and foot on the clutch. One thing to mention is the clutch is also in very good condition. Obviously if you want to destroy the clutch in one day that's totally possible. Um, 
but normal use, I'd say it'll still last you a few years. No automatic headlights being the base model. Got the temperature clock and fuel efficiency on there. Factory stereo there. Seven during alert level four to service all essential services or electrical emergencies to maintain our community's health and safety. So for any emergency electrical, air conditioning, or communication and security issues during the shutdown, contact Christchurch Electrical on three double six one seven one eight or at Christchurchelectrical.co.nz. Obviously, we also have the glove box, which is empty at the moment. No book is from Japan unfortunately, sometimes we get them, sometimes we don't, just depending on luck. As mentioned again, this is a 5 speed manual, not much people do know how to drive a manual car nowadays. If you do, thumbs up for you. Warrant of fitness and service already done. Sun visor, very similar to any other car, nothing special to be honest. Let's take a look, a look under the hood. Now obviously this car is a chain driven vehicle, so no cam belts or water pumps to be changed. Excellent condition as you can see, no water leak, uh, no oil leaks or anything like that. Thank you everyone for watching, we'll see you next time. Cheers.